randonauting. Generating totally random coordinates based on your location. Or is it? You give your, your coordinates of where you actually are at that moment and it spits out some random number. But is it random? Is it quantum physics? Is it a combination of the two? Or does it go deeper than that? Is it the deep web actually interacting with, with you, with me, with the whomever uses the app to send you to crazy locations to find crazy different objects? All we know so far is that some people have set out on an ex exploration and they have come up with some really crazy, creepy, sick items, including bodies. It's the random nodding experience. It's trending and this is what it is. So let's try it out. Let's see if random nodding is real or if it's just another game. Let's go. Okay, well I'm here and it's behind me. Um, there's a wooded area which I will show you. I'm gonna get out, I'm gonna go, it's sketchy. And I can tell you one thing, if you know anything about deer flies, as soon as I stopped, my car started to get swarmed by them. I've actually never been on this side road before. Uh, actually, I'm not even sure where exactly I am. So wish me luck because, yeah, I'm alone. Uh-oh, there's a car coming. Maybe I won't. Shoot, I can't. Okay, so there's a car approaching, which is really random. I don't know what he's doing. <clears throat> but weird. <laughs> Very weird. I'm just keeping an eye on him to see if he actually leaves this. Because this is a dead end road. So I don't know. Hard to tell. He's probably going to sit at the other end and just see what I'm doing. It was. Yeah. Okay, so that was totally random. Some car approached. I still have my car. Like I'm still in my car, it's still running. And he pulled over like right over here, right there. Looked over the edge into the wheat field and then left. I I don't know. I am creeped out. I don't know if I want to add. I don't know if there's like cameras or what. Anyway, let's, you know what? Let's get out. Let's try it. Let's, let's go. Right? Let's go. And if something happens to me, well, you can thank Randall Nodding for that. Okay, so that's the dirt road. It's one way. One way in one way out because this is <laughs> this is the end of the line but yeah the guy came over here 
He looked over here. And then he left. So I don't know. Okay, so from the looks of it, I think that car is still, it's like just over the hill there. I'm gonna just stop it, turn it around and zoom in. Yeah, it's right there. According to the map, it says that I should have to go over there. But see, there's, this is somebody's cash crop. And I'm wondering if, I'm actually wondering if this has been a point that other people have been to. You know what I'm saying? Like this isn't just a random spot. I mean, it could be. It's definitely creepy. I'm staying off to the side. Okay, well, according to the map, I'm here, but it's like, whatever the distance is, I don't remember. I mean, it could be in there, but you can't really get in there. And to be honest, I'm super creeped out. I keep being an eye on my car, which is over there. It's really pretty. And I am not on the wheat because this is somebody, you know what? There you go. <laughs> Hello, I just figured it out. Well, okay, so, I mean, this may be it, this may not be it. Technically, it says that the point is in there. I hear a helicopter, so I'm gonna start heading back. But what I was gonna say is that this, I asked for money. This right here is money. This is a cash crop. This, this is somebody's livelihood and that's why you don't trespass. But yeah, I'm heading back to my car because I don't wanna get in trouble. I don't know. Oh yeah, I hear a helicopter. Okay, so that's air ambulance. It looks like somebody that the guy who came with it was probably this is probably his land. And he was probably told that somebody's come in here. This kind of looks like a crop circle. You know, design or something. Because but I don't know. Everything's, it's all laying flat, except certain spots, like here. Weird. Um, and it's going in the direction of where the, the pin drop is. I don't know, you guys, you be the judge. And like, here. Like, this is also creepy, and yeah, I'm like ducking under trees and stuff. Ouch. Okay, so. There. To there. The deer flies are out. Ugh. But anyway, so I asked for money, and it brought me to a wheat field. Well, it's not my money, but it is somebody's money, and that's why you do not trespass, especially onto a farmer's field because this is their livelihood. That being said, I'm gonna get back into the car and go to the next one. Okay, back in my car, and the car's coming. Okay, I'm gonna get. I'm... Okay, well that was kind of close. There's a truck that was coming along, and it looks to be a tow truck. I'm on public property, not private. 
it's a concession road and I didn't step onto the private property. So I stayed off of the, the crops and whatever else. So anyway, we're heading off to the next location. So stay tuned. Can't really film and be driving at the same time. I'm only, I'm on a concession road, a dead end concession road. So I'm gonna put the phone down and I'll talk to you guys when I get there. So I'm sure that one's not a dud, but it looks like a dud to me. So, and it's rush hour. I'm not getting out. It's private property way over there. And yeah, on to the next. All right, well, here we go again. Got another, another pin drop, but it's over there, somewhere. Several hundred yards, probably about a football field. And there's, it's creek land in there. There's a creek right, just, just, just right there. So I'm not going there, that's private property. There is a fence. You can see the fence right there. And uh, my intent was to find a doll. Is there a doll in there? Maybe. On to the next, I guess. most recent pin is taking me to that house. I'm not doing it. Private property. Sorry guys. Not doing it. Hey, hey guys. So I am back. I'm actually home now. Did the random nodding. Played with the random nodding app or random nautica app and I have to say, I'm not all that impressed. Maybe I did it wrong. I don't know. That being said, I can definitely see why a lot of people would want to do it at nighttime. Everywhere it took me, well, almost anywhere, everywhere that it took me was private property, um, in the middle of a farmer's field, busy roads. Yeah, so or just very inaccessible areas. One place, the first place, actually was a half decent spot <laughs> and it was actually really creepy. My intent for that one was cash. It took me to a cash crop. I didn't get to the actual pin because that was way too sketchy. So I'm glad I left that one. But the other ones, I just, I couldn't access so I don't know not too thrilled about it um, I might actually try it again I may try it at night but I would have to have somebody you know partner up with me I'm not I'm, I'm just not gonna do it at night time alone because you know anything can happen but the interest is there easier to get to places you know Less people, less traffic, you can kind of blend in, you don't get seen, you wear black, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Anyway, if you've had a better experience, a different experience, a similar experience, let me know down in the comments. And yeah, because I, I want to hear. I want to hear your stories, share your stories. Let me know. And... If you want me to try it at nighttime, I can see if I can find somebody to come along. So guys, it was still a fun afternoon, a couple of hours, you know, spent 
driving around, going to different places. I do have two issues with the app. One being that it keeps sending me to private properties, properties that are inaccessible. And it says right on the app, do not go into private property. The second being that it takes you down roads and then it literally has you do a U-turn only to go back to pretty much where you started from. Why? I don't know, but Randonautica, if you're listening, you need to fix that. So guys, if you liked the video, please hit the like button. If you didn't like the video, hit the down button. It doesn't matter. Please share the video, subscribe. I'm so new to this channel, so new to the actually filming the paranormal stuff. I've been into the paranormal for my entire life and I love it, it's my passion. I really wanna see this channel fly. So if you can, that'd be great. Come here, my buddy wants to say hi. Don't you get a buddy? This is my buddy, Oban, my border collie. He's 14 and a half, and he wants you to subscribe. From the mouths of Oban, please subscribe. We love the paranormal. I will see you on the flip side.